what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's been a while since i've watched some monster man i'm jumping back in the saddle i'm trying to do four episodes tonight um it's kind of late right now i'm starting to record this i'm trying to get four episodes done for you guys so bear with me um had a tough week this week i had a lot of stuff planned to do reactions for the channel but i didn't get a chance to um so it's gonna be a busy weekend so just look out for reactions over the weekends okay for, for the weekend okay i'm trying to get out also a couple of read throughs for mangas this weekend also so look out for those if you watch the read throughs on the channel people has been asking for them i'm gonna try to carve out some time in the next couple of days to do both mangas that i'm reading right now and also going forward there is some shake up coming to the schedule because of some things that took place this week i have to switch some things up as in the days that i record because i usually take thursday and friday i might have to switch that to saturday and sundays um based on you know what i have to do um now in the week time thursday and friday doesn't seem like a great day to do things anymore i usually have those two days completely free uh but because of circumstances that happened this week um it might be there for a short period of time it might be as we go forward but i have to change it so we might switch around some things um to see how things work but we'll see how it goes but we're not gonna waste any more time here you already know what's going on my thoughts whatever watch the last video watch my last um the last reaction and you'll know what's going on but in any case guys let's jump in and i will see you guys at the end for the review いい加減に覚えろよ、ロビン。ハンバーガー、チーズはダブル、ケチャップは多め、トマトは厚切り。ピクルス入れたら殺す。そんなの覚えられっかよ。This is a really interesting character too. Really? He doesn't recognize him? That's strange. ここんとこよく振るんだあの客。お前のこと何語だって聞いてきたぜ。あいつは中国人でもベトナム人でもない。ほう。おそらく日本人だ。しかも農芸家だ。凄腕のな。なあ。そうだろ。演じ模範集なら<笑><笑>
この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますにあったええ2日前にまあ一応報告までにあなたに会いたがってましたよフフ<笑>殴ったりしてないでしょうねえ、ね、ええしませんそんなこと<笑> really? 帰るわよえ今日のパーティーはもうこれでいいんですか今日というよりももうパーティーは終わり多分ねご苦労だったねエヴァこれから食事でもどうだね行くわで彼女をレストランに送り届けてお前はここで晩飯かパーティーや高級レストランの食い物に比べりゃここのハンバーガーの方がよっぽどマシだ褒められてんだかけなされてんだかわかんねえなすごいなあんたもまた痛い目に遭いたいのか消えろって言ってんのがわかる<笑>テッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッテッ誰に命じられた知らないよ誰だかだが顔は知ってるぜメガネの男だメガネの男そいつはエヴァに何をさせようとしているんだだから言ったろパーティーに出席させてるだけだ飲んで食って帰るそれだけだそれだけじゃないはずだそこでエヴァは何か特別な行動をとっているはずだないねそういや今日今日いやなんてことないんだあの女指さしたんだ指さした若い男をさ若い男こうやって金髪の綺麗な顔をした若い男をさただそれだけだけどなエヴァ今どこにシーサーヨーハンの依頼人のメガネと食事だど,どこだ、wow. 早く言えそれはどこだエヴァの役目はおそらくそれで終わりだこの仕事が終わったらきっと殺されるわもうパーティーは終わりエヴァはどこに<笑>待て銃を持っているかねい,いや銃は持たないことにしてるんでじゃあこれを使いたまえ彼女を殺せ Kill her あの時いつもと同じようにパーティーは繰り広げられていた酒の匂い香水の匂い意味のない笑いいつもと同じだったあの瞬間を除いてはエヴァはある若い男を指さした
するとそこへメガネの男がもう一人の身なりのいい若い男を連れて現れた。Yo, he and Lee were young. それからその若い男二人は握手を交わした。その時は気づかなかったが、どうやらそれでエヴァの仕事は終わったらしい。So they were just entertaining her to get to Johan because they probably know Johan is. After her, maybe. Yeah, but I'm not going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. 血の海の中立ってたって言ってたもんね。外へ連れてって打ちなさいよ。そうしないと汚した部屋弁償させられるわよ。<笑>あ、一つだけあった。思い残したこと。まあ、どうでもいいんだけどね。私、今日何をしたのかな。あんた見てたでしょ。私が指さしたの。私、きっととんでもないことしたんだわ。とんでもない人間を悪魔に引き合わせたんだわ。メフィストとファーストを引き合わせた。<笑>どうでもいいんだけどね。今日でもうパーティーに出る必要はなくなっちゃったみたいだけど。まだここに、これから先のパーティーの招待状があるわ。よかったら私が死んだ後あんた私が何をしちゃったのか確かめといてくれないさあそろそろ片付けてちょうだい逃げよう俺と一緒に逃げよう<笑>あんた何か勘違いしてんじゃないのあんたと逃げる冗談でしょ<笑>私たちいつからそういう関係になったのよ俺はもう人は殺せない人は殺せないじゃあ悪魔なら殺せるっていうの私は悪魔よあんたに買ってやったそのスーツもネクタイも全部賢三が昔着てたのと同じ柄わかるあんたを賢三天満に見立ててただけ殺しなさいよ She is out of her mind, bro. I want to know what took place, how he got attacked. Because you know he ends up with a gunshot wound looking for Tenma, so. I'm not sure. I'm not 
いや誰もほとんど昨夜の日本人がこれ置いてったヘルブラウホテル205号室何かあったらそこに連絡してくれとよ注文はいつものやつかやめとくわひとまずいハンバーガーで腹いっぱいにしちまったら行く気がうせらどこ行くんだパーティー不思議なもんだネクタイ一本ありゃどこへでも入れるこんなもん一本でいたであいつは悪魔だ手が腫れ上がるほど何人もの人間と握手を交わしそいつはパーティー会場を後にした But that's not the guy that. That's not Johan. <laughs> that is so weird. Imagine you're following someone and then he. Then he just opens the door and be like, Come on in. Karekimasio. <laughs> <laughs> その若造は引きとして喋り続けた。それはまるで今日学校で会った楽しかったことを親に語って聞かせる子供のように。そうやって奴は俺に語った。何が世界が終わる話だ。マニアックな若造のタワゴトだ。その時はそう思った。面白い話でしょう。楽しんでもらいましたか、マルティンさん。なんで俺の名前も知ってるんだ。そうだ。次はあなたの話をしましょう。赤ん坊のところでもう三年になりますか。俺のことを調べたのか。その前は刑務所に
あなたに殺してくれって頼んだんでしょうかあ当たり当たったんですねやっぱりそうなんだ彼女を撃ったのはあなたじゃないんだ彼女あの時こう言ったんでしょう私を撃ってって私を撃ってそんな目で見ないで殺してよ私を殺してよマルキー俺じゃねえこいつ自分で撃ったんだ俺じゃねえよ当たりですね、違うあなたは彼女を置き去りにしたそうやって彼女の願望を叶えてあげたんだ違うじゃああなたのお母さんは<笑>あなたのお母さんあなたが10歳の時投資してますよねあの時もあなたお母さんを置き去りにした<笑>これも当たりすごいすごいや驚いたな本当に当たるんだあなた毎日毎日アルチュのお母さんを家まで背負って連れて帰ってたそうでしょいつもお母さんはあなたに言ってたここに置いてってくれってそれでもあなたは毎日お母さんを背負って帰ったでもあの晩ダメだってばこんなところで寝ちゃう平気だ平気ここに置いてってくれよできちゃったんだそうですよねあなたはお母さんを置いてきちゃったんだ翌日知らせがあったお母さんが投資したとでもその時あなたは思ったんだ僕は悪くないお母さんが置いてってくれって頼んだからそうしたんだってその通りですよあなたは悪くないお母さんもドラッグ中毒の彼女も死にたがっていたんだ死にたがっている人を知らせてあげただけなんだあなたは間違ってないあなたは正しい生きる苦悩から彼女たちを解放してあげたんだエヴァだって死にたがっているじゃないですかちょうどその時悪魔がやってきた。俺は悪魔を見ないようにすれ違った見ちゃいけない見ちゃいけない絶対見ちゃいけない俺は子供のように唱えていた Yes あのめえ、yeah, series you don't know what to think about some of these characters man it just the way how everything plays out is just like you don't know how you want to actually manipulates people but i'm guessing that he got all this information from johan about martin because it just makes sense how else would he know all of this like And the thing what this author does, this author, what he does so very well, you know, is, is just introducing these characters, you know, and let you feel for them in the, in, in the capacity of, you know, telling you about their background, you know, and just let it work, just weave it into the story. You know, this is a master class of storytelling, man. That, that, that's all I can say. It's just, it's just a master class of storytelling 
without even really revealing what the end game is, you know, um, because even if you are looking for that answer, it's very hard to tell what is go what is going to take place at the end of this series. You know what I mean? So let's get to the next episode. He must feel really bad for leaving his um mom there like that to die. よく実を知らせがあった。お母さんが投資したと。でもその時あなたは思ったんだ。僕は悪くない。お母さんが置いてってくれって頼んだからそうしたんだって。その通りですよ。あなたは悪くない。死にたがっている人を知らせてあげただ
違えろ。フランクフルト中央駅で待ってる。一緒に逃げよう。加減にしろ冗談言ってる場合かいいか天満のところに行くのがあんたが助かる道であんたの望みだそれは命令だ早く行けあんたに指図される覚えはないわ冗談よ行くわ無茶して死ぬような真似しないでよ俺があんたにそこまでする義理はないじゃあ Uh, was this like the, the second attack? I mean, the first attack? That's how he got shot. He like he wanted to die in that situation. できるだけの応急処置はしたがあとはここでは無理だ病院に行こう要請どうせ無理なのは分かってるエヴァはエヴァはどこだエヴァがどうしたんだここに来てないのか
This show is too heavy, bro. show is definitely not for kids. <laughs> this show is heavy, man. Wow. What a scene. That's all I can say. <laughs> what a scene. そんなところにいても始発までは<笑> あ、幸せ。幸せか。どうやら待ち人じゃなかったようだな。彼は重要な情報を伝えようと私のところにやってきた。最後の力を振り絞って逃げるんだ。
酒じゃなくていいのかマルティンあの人お酒嫌いだったからそうかマルティンぶりねあちゃんと食べてるのずいぶんやつれたからあ変ね私たち二人でこうしてマルティンのお葬式をしているいい人だったあんないい人に私ひどいことをした昔あなたに送ったスーツとネクタイ同じ柄のものを彼に着させて最低ね私は最低よなんでまだ生きてるんだろう私あなたにも嘘の証言をして罪を着せ続けたなんで私はまだノーノーと生きているんだろうマルティンが君を守ったからだなぜ守るの私みたいな女をなぜ守るの誰も死にたがってなどいないマルティンはそう言ってた幸せだって言ってた君が駅で待っているそれが幸せだって言ってた。That's tough, man. I mean, I've had my, you know, feelings about her in the past, but she is just a broken individual, man. ドクターライヒワインにかくまってもらうんだあの人ならよくしてくれるそして警察へ行けこのフランクフルトの赤ん坊の組織に狙われていることそしてロベルトに狙われていることすべて洗いざらい話すんだあなたのことも話すわあなたは誰も殺してないすべてヨハンがやったことすべて話すわだからあなたもミュウヘンへ目の前にいるんだすぐ近くに君もパーティーで見かけたろヨハンが目の前にいるんだもう終わりにしなくちゃテンマ just feels like he has to correct this mistake <laughs> you know That's crazy, man. Doctor Raihiwai Niwa, what a shikara tegami o dashteok. What a shino shirukagi no joho, svete kaiteok. Kenzo. Sa, ikunda. Demo, Kenzo. Kimiga, what a shini de kiu tedaskeva. Muhen ni te, nani mo kamo hanasko to takeda. よく我々にヨハンを引き合わせてくれた
感謝するよこのフランクフルトにどうも最近それらしい人物がいると踏んで君に首実験をお願いしたわけだがお食事中失礼しますお電話ですいやもしもし私だロハンそうかどこだハルデッカー通りのアパルトマンハルデッカー通りのアパルトマンヨハン私でも終わりにできるわ。なあ、don't do that, Ava。don't go after this man。ヤレツサイトから、ロコマルロクゴシツ。そこに悪魔の弟子が。銃が欲しいってのはあんたかいええ、銃にもいろいろあるぜできるだけ大きいのがいいわ初心者にはでかいのは無理だ一体何を撃つつもりだあモンスター悪魔よあ今このせ Episodes are so good. <laughs> Anyways, crazy. All right, so that was episode 59 and 60. And I have to say, man, like the drama of this show really does pull you in to the world. You know, I've talked about immersion. On a lot of occasions, when it comes on to, a, to the shows that I watch on this channel, Monster, you know, is just on another level of writing, you know, because there's levels to this, you know what I mean? And Monster is just proving that. And I'm telling you, like, I mean, we're 60 episodes in with 14 episodes to go. And even if I was supposed to guess. And tell you what would probably happen at the end. Like, I don't think I could come up with a good theory to tell you what is possibly going to happen.、Um, I think Tenma is going to end up killing Johan. That's,、uh, you know, I don't know how we're gonna get there, but I think he is going to accomplish this mission and he's going to regret it. I think that's what's going to happen.、Um, but it's just the stories and the underlying themes that makes this series such a masterpiece to, to watch through. You know,、um, bit of a redemption arc here for Ava's character. You know, I didn't know that I would end up feeling sorry for her. You know how broken she is over Martin's death. And I think at some point, she, she at, during these episodes, she realized how toxic she is for anybody she comes in contact with. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's like she's just been on this, this journey of making these arbitrary decisions. You know,、um, you know, the drinking, the, the, the drugs, the, the, the everything that she's been through, you know, marrying men and then taking their money and stuff like that is just, you know, everything just kind of came to a, to, to a head, you know, and, you know, became a little bit too overwhelming for her, especially when Kenma shows up. Because,、uh, I mean, Tenma. So, when Tenma shows up, you can see that she didn't expect him to show up, but at the same time, she was relieved that he showed up, you know. And she's not as aggressive anymore, you know. She puts up this front because she wants to die. So, that's when I really started to feel like her character made kind of like a turnaround, as in what she wants. 
out of life. She didn't complain when she woke up and realized she's still alive. She didn't complain. She just said, I'll meet you at the train station. She had no intention of going to see Tenma because I think at this point, she doesn't believe that Tenma cares about her. She cares very deeply about Tenma, but sometimes your natural ability to, to love can be so overwhelming you know um for others that you don't know exactly how to deal with it yourself this is the kind of emotion that creates stalkers right so they don't exactly know how to deal with those emotions so you know they don't want the person dead but they don't they also don't want anybody else to have that person or to be with that person or they don't want that person to be su successful in anything you get what i'm saying unless they're achieving these goals with them you know what i'm saying and the thing about it is that they could have been a wonderful couple if she didn't say the things that she said when you know when she threw the engagement ring back at him and was like you're nothing now i don't want to be with you which is you know you've heard my comments during those early episodes of how much of a bitch she is you know what i'm saying so for me to come now 14 episodes left and telling you that she has become one of my favorite characters on the show is unbelievable and you know incredible writing to say the least i love characters that get good redemption arcs because i don't hate her anymore I just feel like she's just a broken individual now her going after yohan is is a bad idea it just is it's, it's a terrible idea she she shouldn't be doing this so um so i'm guessing that in the next couple of episodes we might see the end of ava just because she's going after yohan yohan is a very calculated person and i think maybe the only person that could possibly catch him off guard is Tenma but then again we might not still might not even, I don't know what these this syndicate people are up to trying to get in touch with Johan trying to create a dictator I don't know what they're trying to do it's it's not what Johan wants I mean he could have been when he was a when he was even younger he could have been a dictator he could have been ruling the country you know what I'm saying he was in charge of uh, an organized crime group that was laundering money and all kind of stuff you know through some bank that they owned or whatever so to see him now is like you know what i'm saying like i don't think that they know who they're really getting in league with it's kind of like you signing your life over to devil and you don't even know that you are signing your your life over to the devil i don't want to have no business deals with with the devil or any monster of that sort but in any case guys that is all i have to say incredible two episodes thank you guys so much appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys for the next one as always leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're new i'm out peace